Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, Cabinet Ministers from our neighboring countries, Korea Cabinet Secretaries, Chairperson and the CEO of the International Coffee Organization, Representatives of the Diplomatic Corps, Honorable Governors, Honorable Senators and Members of Parliament, our distinguished coffee farmers and stakeholders, ICU delegates, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to have Kenya play host to the 124 session of the International Coffee Organization meeting here in Nairobi. It is a great honor and a testimony of our commitment towards ensuring a better performing coffee sector, both locally and internationally. Your Excellency, our presence here today, Your Excellency, your presence here today speaks of your personal commitment, interest, and support for the coffee sector. I thank you on behalf of all the stakeholders. Mine this morning is very brief. It is to assure you and the coffee industry stakeholders that the intervention the Ministry of Agriculture and Trade have begun making are poised to make a turnaround for the benefit of our farmers. Your Excellency, today's council meetings provide us with another platform to further engage and explore policy solutions towards the prevailing COVID industry challenges, especially those related to assessing international markets. <laughs> Doing so, our delegates from the ICU member countries eager to engage and represent their respective countries and make this session a success. In their midst, our gov government officials who include members of the National Assembly, the Senate, and federal cabinet secretaries. Our county governments are also, are also represented by governors and the executive members in charge of agriculture, trade, and related dockets. Their unwavering support to COVID production has kept us on the world map, and we salute them. We also have dignitaries and diplomats from member countries who are eager to facilitate and promote coffee in their respective countries and regions. Last but not least, I thank development partners for their continued support and goodwill to the industry in Kenya.